Hello everybody and welcome. It's Wednesday and today we do two ESP cards. Not one, but two. And on these cards you have symbols, you have a star, you have a square, you have a wavy line, you have a plus sign, and you have a circle. Alright, the object is to let your mind wander. Take the first answer that you feel. Is it the star? Is it the square? Is it the wavy line? Is it the plus sign? Is it the circle? And what is the symbol here? There's no right, there's no wrong. And don't try to read me because I do not look at the card as I pick it up. Alright, that's card number one. Now shuffle again. Symbols back in the deck. Yeah, there could be, you know, the same card could show up more than once. Alrighty. Here we go. Card number two. What is the symbol? Is it the star? Is it the square? Is it the wavy line? Is it the plus sign? Or is it the circle? There you go. And you will get the answers right up here towards the end of the video. Alrighty. Time for the Wednesday morning rush. Good magical morning everybody. It is Wednesday. It is September 28th. It is hump day. You have reached the zenith of the work week and hopefully the workflow will slow down a bit the hard stuff was getting to the top of the hill and now it's all downhill we're getting closer to the weekend right well i am your host i am charles thank you for stopping by if you're a subscriber well thank you very much for subscribing if you're not a subscriber well you can click that little box down there and be holding the broom at any time to subscribe or i'll have a link at the end of the video but i am here i am your host i am your host with the ghost and she is right back there we have a little entity as we say an entity is attached attached to the doll all right attached all right sometimes a spirit can attach themselves to an object it could be a chair it could be a coin it could be a pocket watch it could be a doll it could be many different items but when the spirit is not causing no harm well they're more than welcome to stay with me all right so and you know, uh, people say, well, are there bad spirits? Oh, yeah, sure, there's bad spirits. You know, you figure, well, uh, you know, if, a, if it's a human spirit, well, if that person was a, a butthead in life, well, you know that person is most likely going to be a butthead after life, all right? It's energy. We are all energy. Energy doesn't disappear, all right? It just turns to a different type of energy. And that's just from my experience, okay? I'm not getting into physics. I'm not getting into, you know, other things. There's always other beliefs, so anyway. But here we go. We're just getting the cards ready. Yeah, you know, uh, no, I hesitate on that, you know, because, you know, there's so many different points of view, different opinions on things, you know. Uh, oh, you must shuffle the cards eight times, at least eight times. Well, who the heck said that? Some guy in a book? Some gal in a book? You know, it's just that when you find information on how to do something, just remember that that information is just the opinion of the person who's writing the book or the article or whatever. Okay? You know, uh, oh, well, that, that card, this uh, Ten of Pentacles, that means... No, you know, if you're reading something, you know, the basic meanings of cards, well, you're limiting yourself, all right? You got to get the spiritual aspect of things, all right? There is a lot more to cards. You know, I can read a handful of rocks, all right? There's no book on how to read rocks, right? As far as I know. But, uh, well, in a month or so, you'll probably see a book on how to read rocks. But, um, but, uh, yeah. 
you know, readings would get so boring, you know, just with the basic meanings and uh, just remember, you know, whatever the meaning is said in a book, well, that's that other person's opinion, all right? Like we did the ESP cards, you gotta let your mind wander. This is what happens here. You let your mind wander enough, well, a lot of different doors open up, okay? You do it long enough, this door open up, that door open up, many doors will open up. And there is no right, there is no wrong on how to do most things, okay? All right, it's the intention if you're doing magic. See the final outcome in cards, reading the tarot. Yeah, it's good to know the basic meanings, but you know, that's for the beginning. But after a while, that little booklet that you get with a deck of cards, you know, most of the times it's a little little booklet inside the deck. You know, after a while, you can take that little booklet and throw it out the window because your cards start speaking to you in their own way. Take care of your cards and they'll take care of you. But here we go. First spread for Wednesday, your hump day. Your zenith of the work week. Let's see what's happening. Alrighty, outcome looks good, but uh, let's get to the other stuff. And as I say, many days, you know, uh, I'd like to peek at financial because that's the object of the hunt. That's why you go out there. That's why you leave. You rush out the door to go to work. You rush out the door to go to school. You want to increase your your. Well, I want, you know, the pirate talk, your booty. You want to increase your booty, increase the money that you make, all right? That's the object of the hunt. But anyway, we are looking at a small financial decrease today, all right? Um, yeah, uh, th this it's not a major decrease, all right? Uh, this shows you going out. So if you're at work or at school or something, uh, watch out for the small expenditures. Um, if you are living check to check, well, I don't think it's a good day to buy for others. You know, if you go out for lunch or buy a little goodie, yeah. Well, you know, I, try, I, I don't get into religion uh, much here, um, but it looks like some of you, your faith has gotten weaker. All right, this is coming in spiritually also. Um, trying to have a little more faith in mankind today. I know it's a little hard with some of the things going on in the world, you know, but uh, it, it will help, all right? Your faith in positive things will help the world, all right? Your positive energies do get out there. I think we spoke about that yesterday, all right? You know, when you think strong enough about something, you'd be surprised on how that can manifest, all right? Uh, what do we got else? Uh, no, I'm just a bit. No, this is at work. At work, you might have some strong words with somebody, but try not to make them too strong, okay? Because you're at work, you know, so is that other person or people, okay? If you're going into a meeting, a board meeting today, um, try not to act so darn silly, you know, by throwing your hands, you know, and all that, you know, because it looks like some of you might get a little overreactive to certain situations, all right? That just shows a lack of self-control. All right, well, well, that was an interesting spread, right? A spread, that's how I lay out the cards. I use a five-card spread. I developed that spread about 30 years ago. My how time flies. I'm, I'm going to do some more here, all right? Because the cards are strong. Things feel good. It feels good to do it, all right? So hopefully you can stick around just a few more minutes because this is for you, the spirits, and me bring this to you via Mr. Charles. And that's me. And here we go. Remember, I am available to go private. Just contact me through the email and we will try to set up an appointment time Sometimes I'm available right away, and sometimes it's just hard to get times, you know, because you might be on the other side of the world. I'm in the USA, Central Standard Time Zone. So, here we go. The spread is laid. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, um, what do we got here? Okay, remember, watch out for the uh, flare-ups at work. 
uh, you would be better off, you know, by trying to avoid them. Avoid them. Okay. All right. And I see that some of you are debating over a relationship. Um, yeah, well, that's that's fine and dandy if you have that 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 uh, situation. You know, whether or not you got. A, Yes or no? You know, should I love this person? No, I shouldn't love this person. You know, love shouldn't be a debate, all right? Uh, yeah, you know, yeah, sure, you can put down the pros and cons if you were to get into a relationship with this person, but some of you have been wanting to get into this relationship for a long time, and today looks like a day that you might be able to move closer into that relationship but you're just wondering whether or not you should do it now well uh, maybe you are thinking wisely but debating over love is not always a good thing all right you've been hurt in the past understandable I could feel that you know whoever's thinking about that right now I, you know yeah, I'm feeling your energies but uh, I try not to get into the past too much unless it deals with the present or the future you know what your past has been you know so why should we waste the energy you know on you know telling you oh you know this happened in the past that happened in the past to you and you're like yep 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 it sure did you know but uh, we don't do that we get down to business we tell it like it is we are in the 21st century okay that word is strong today did you guys uh anybody see that uh U.S. presidential debate? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I couldn't watch the whole thing. I took a peek at it. But anyway, Wednesday don't look too bad. Getting closer to the weekend. Uh, let your mind wander a little bit because tomorrow's Thursday and that'll be even closer. So let your hump day be a good day. Right? Did you get the ESP cards yet? Yeah, well, they just flashed. So remember to like the video, please subscribe, favorite the video, leave comments and uh, share where you can so reading is done thank you